After her arrest, Ishida's stolen remains were moved to Tokyo University Medical School's Pathology Museum. They were put on public display, which is a little disturbing in and of itself, but okay, only to disappear again. Poor guy. The first day of Sada's trial was November 25th, 1936, and by 5 a.m. crowds were already gathering to attend. One of the judges presiding over the trial admitted to being sexually aroused by some of the details involved in the case. A little unprofessional, is it not? On December 21st, she was convicted of murder in the second degree and mutilation of a corpse. Though the prosecution demanded 10 years and she claimed that she desired the death penalty to be reunited with Ishida, she was in fact sentenced to just six years. Sada's time in prison would represent the most stable period of her life and she was released exactly five years after the murder. 